Um, my name is Allison Carr. I'm 24 years old. My name is Olivia Pruitt. I am 16 years old and I'm a junior. My name is Haley. I'm 16 and I am in the 11th grade. My name is Griffin. I'm also 16 and I'm also in 11th grade. My name is Beth Fleming. I am 25 years old. My name is Grace Simpson. I am 14 and I'm in 8th grade. My name is uh, Remington Pruitt. My name is Alex Pruitt. I am 26 years old. My name is Madison. I am 14 and I am a freshman. And I've been coming to this church um, my entire life, so 24 years. I've been coming to this church since I was born. My whole life. You know. September. So just a few months now. I've been coming to White Oak Pond since I was a baby. Since I was about 18 years old. For about 19 years, ever since 2001, when my parents got remarried and we moved up to Lebanon. I've been coming to White Oak Pond for about three years. I think youth and young people have a lot more to offer than what we realize most of the time in church. No, I don't think that people stop to think when you're a youth or a young adult without someone asking, without somebody being like, hey, what can you offer? What would you like to do? We don't stop on our own and think, oh, well, what could I offer? I think that young people and youth are very important in the church, and I think they have a lot to offer. I think a lot of people say that youth and young people are the future of the church, but I think they're also the now, and um, they need to be brought up to be able to do the same things that everybody like the adults can do because we're gonna have to follow up th with that. I think the youth can offer their opinions and their input, like ideas. I think they should have a lot to offer because like they are the future of our church and it should be important that they're included. I think that they bring fresh ideas. I think that they um, help churches kind of get out of their, well, we've always done it this way, kind of rut. They are moldable by the older generations, too, so that way you don't lose all of the, well, we've always done it this way kind of mentality, but you kind of mix that old with the new. It gives the church charisma uh, uh, to be uh, open to new ideas, uh, to um, think outside the box. The youth have to offer their time and their um, their talents. Um, like they can volunteer here or um, be on a committee or something. Um, I think I have a lot of creativity to offer the church more than anything else. Um, and I think for the most part I'm asked to use that creativity, whether it's here for Bible school or at camps or something. I don't think I have more than the next person, but I don't know. I know that I have the desire to want to use gifts that maybe I don't know that I have. And so I think that I have the opportunity to grow in what, in what I can provide for the church. I think the church is very, is very supportive in letting me support, like in letting me help the church. And um, they send me to church camps and let me do things like Kaleo, and I couldn't do that without my church family. We've been asked to be on committee meetings to help serve with the older people giving our inputs. I feel really involved in this church. Maybe it's just because I've been here so long, you know. If it's like singing or if it's like being up in the choir or doing something with I Life out in the community, that's all of like the different parts of my role that I play and it's definitely used. Being the music director at this church, like I do feel like my role and gifts are being, you know, recognized. Um, however, if I weren't the music director, I think they still would be recognized. Absolutely, I'm gonna call Jamie Johansson out on this one. Um, she is on Christian Ed and um, she knows that I love teaching and I love small children. And when the opportunity for Cumberland Kids came up, she was the one that approached me about it and like really encouraged me to take the time to think about it, but also like really encouraged me to go for it. She made sure that it was really what I wanted to do and I wasn't just agreeing. Being one of those that takes a step back, I uh, often don't always go out and grab the opportunities, but I know they've always been there. Um, and I think it shows with uh, all the committees, like uh, outreach 
and the building of grounds and the worship committee, that they they see something in me and know that I do have um, something good to give. I run video, so that way whenever someone wants to have a recording of a specific date, um, it's there for them.